Hi guys and welcome to a new Let's Play series. So today we're going to be playing Conqueror 940 AD. So quick note guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to Combat Wombat Studios. They actually sent me over a Steam key which I really damn appreciate, it's really cool. Um, so we're going to be playing this game, going to do a bit of a Let's Play series with it, see how far we get. Uh, probably end up dying and losing. But what it is, is a medieval town builder, uh, turn based town builder. I think that's probably good. So I have played it very, very quickly to kind of get the basics down, which it all seems pretty good. So we're going to do a new game. Yes, we are indeed. And we're just going to go with Dakar as our name. Uh, because I'm a noob and we're probably going to end up dying, uh, I, well, should we go for night? Raids, frequencies, normal, kingdoms are full strength, and kingdoms are. Now, nah, you know what? I, I want to see the whole thing. I want to see the whole, like, thing all the way through. So I'm going to be a noob and play on Squire. So that's what we're going to go for. So because there isn't anything, um, like, talking or anything like that, I'll do a voice on this one. So, Penalia is a prosperous kingdom ruled by a wise king. The king grew old and died. The firstborn became king, and all seven brothers swore fealty. The new king, Mendeville, grew paranoid and worried about his brothers wanting power. I do quite like the comic book effect, by the way, it looks pretty cool. The princes soon had unexplained fatal accidents, such as falling out of a tower. No. <laughs> Getting poisoned when eating some sort of soup. Uh, dying in a bath. I have no idea what this one is. I'm just going to say dying from bathing injuries. <laughs> uh, puking lots. <laughs> this one's just so good. <laughs> Getting a whole steak right through the chest. Definitely unexplained. I, what I love about this is that he's still looking at the boar with his spear. And <laughs> a spear's got all the way through him. It's brilliant. Oh, God. And uh, being anchored to the bottom of the ocean. Brilliant. The youngest saw through the accident and fled. Smart. <laughs> Just get out of there, dude. Just get out of there. He became a guard for a caravan to get away from Penalia. God, he's looking really raggedy, isn't he? So there is the caravan. I like this one. I really like that caravan. I might, might Minecraft that up. Um, crossing sweltering heat. So there we go. Good old desert dunes thing. The bitter cold. And good old stormy weather. Right. Far away, he found unclaimed land next to his uncle to start a new and build a new kingdom. Well, let's get into it, guys. Let's see how it is. Oh, no, I forgot to turn off the tutorial. Well, that's fine. So I'm going to skip for it. So we've got this dashboard anyway. Uh, it's going to force us to go through a couple different things. So building, we need to get a Wiseman's Hut. So we go on to that. Switch over to building. We're also going to do some training of skills. Yeah. Uh, yeah, end the turn. So we need to basically build up some stuff in here. Which is good. So let's keep going. There we go. Uh, Wiseman's Hut has been completed. Uh, let's go to the dashboard. Yeah, let's select yeah, Dirt Roads. It does sound good. So let's get that. You get this like manpower bar. Um, so that kind of is what you can effectively do this turn. So we've got 50 out of, out of 200 people. Still got quite a lot of people, to be fair. Um, but we can only do certain things with that. So that's now been a research, so we can now start building it. So we'll get that on to building. That looks good. Yep, 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 yep. Just click through. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, so yeah, if we have a look at... If we turn down the dashboard. So this is what we've got as our little town. At the minute, it's not much. We haven't got a lot going on. But we will start, you know, building it all up as we go. So what I want to do first is get a really strong economy going. Well, I say strong economy. I mean, it might not be the best, but... Um, well, actually, it always is. It always is with these kind of games. It's either economy or you get food store. I think we'll go for economy first because we can probably buy stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so that's now going to be researching. Click on that toggle. You can see the manpower going down, which is all good. Um... We are making gold each time, but we're not getting any of the other resources, and that's because we haven't got the buildings yet. So let's just let those build up. So what have we actually got to do? I should have really had a look at that. All right, so town hall's another turn. Let's go through that turn. Cool. That's now completed. So if we go on to building, let's build. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Cool. 
That's fine. So we can't build that yet because we're already building the road. So we've got three days for that. Uh, cost is... Left is 30 gold. Uh, okay, so each of those costs gold. So that's going to cost 25 gold. Okay, that's fair dues. Right. So let's research some more stuff. Uh, what else do we want to do? Forestry, sustainable timber cutting that allows kingdoms to build their towns and defences. That sounds good. Defences always sounds good. Let's get that down there. We might actually click on to train for that as well because we've got all this. So we might as well train up. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we might as well try to use maximum manpower at all times. So that's still got another two days. So let's click that twice. Good. Oh, okay. Uh, so advisor... Aldo, good morning, your majesty. With roads to our kingdom built, we can now send emissaries to establish trade and diplomacy with other kingdoms. We will need to do that before we can trade with anyone. Uh, okay, fair dues. So we need to send emissaries to places. Right, so this is our frame room. At the minute, we're, we're in a tent. <laughs> we've, we've just got a tent. That's fair dues. <laughs> right, so let's go back. We need, to, we need to up that. We need a castle, man. Oh, man. All right, okay, so that's all good. Oh, look. We get this new thing. Okay, so open. If we do that, ah, then you get to click on that. Then we can send a caravan. So there's nothing there at the minute. So I guess that will open up over time. Uh, oh, emissary. Right, so we get the emissary first. Then we select it. A crawl. Ladies. Oh, this is confusing. Right, what is all that going on here? Penalia. That, that's the evil one. That's the one we want to destroy completely and uh, salt their lands. Uh, things like that. Uh, Florencia. I like their flag. That is very cool. To be fair, the, the flags are pretty pretty cool. Crawl as well. That is a nice flag. Let's go with Florencia. Why not? Send send them those way. We'll get an emissary there. Then we'll hopefully be able to open up trade, which will get some money. In terms of building, we've got enough gold. So let's get the town hall on the go as well. Oh, we haven't got enough manpower. Okay. Um, if we turn down the skills. There we go. That's what we'll go. So we can get that town hall in. While we're doing tradey things. Let's have a look at that. Right. Forestry in progress. Town hall building is in progress. Cool. Uh, two days left on that. That's going to take quite a few days, it looks like. So at least we'll get a town hall in place. I wonder if we'll get... After the town hall is done. We also completed something. I think that was research, wasn't it? So we'll get that done. Let's go for granary. We could do with storing some food. And we'll switch that on. We've got enough of the manpower for that. So that all looks good. Right. Okay. Building's done. So we've now got that building. Have we got... Yeah, forestry. Harvest wood. Five a day base. Okay, cool. Yep, that sounds good. Get that in there. Oh, I need to have a look in the... How do I get to the tent? How do I get to my throne room? Is it one of these ones? Nope, that's not that. It's going to be one of these ones. Nope. Is it this thing? That's the thing. Right, so it's the T in the bottom. Oh, that's a shame. I was expecting that this would upgrade to, like, the town hall. Um, I'm guessing it's because it's up on this castle. This is definitely a castle hill. I mean, this is a castle hill, if I've ever seen one. So, because it's that, it's definitely going to be that. Right, so at the minute, we've pretty much maxed out everything. So, let's continue on the next turn. Hopefully, we'll get the trade in. There we go. Uh, advisor Aldo again. So, Your Majesty, Queen Florencia, known as the Golden Queen from the Queen Kingdom on Florencia, has rich gold mines in her mountains and loves using her wealth. She's warm and welcome. Warm to welcome another trade partner. Excellent. Good old one, Aldo. Right. So that means we should, on this now, if we turn that on. There we go. Each kingdom will have different prices, so compare for the best import and export prices. Okay, cool. So, Kingdom A, Kingdom B, Kingdom C. Okay. Uh, trade is essential in the, ki in the kingdom to get hard. Um... Hard to acquire resources like stone and iron as well as weapons. Okay, so there's a couple things that we can't, uh, like, homebrew, basically. Uh, sliding the slide to the left will import that resource, and sliding to the right will export that resource. Okay. Pay attention to your trade capacity as you research and handle the issues in your kingdom. You can increase the size of your trade capacity. Good. Mousing over the resource will tell you the base market price of a resource and what modifies the price. Price modifies it as modifiers <laughs> depend... On research and the king's bartering skills, this will change depending on whether you are import or, ex or exporting. Cool. To confirm a trade, make sure you hit send caravan. Okay. Cool. So that's five. What do we need at the minute? I mean, we've not got any food, um, but we're building a granary in a bit, aren't we? 
No, we're building the forestry first because we want to get base wood. So, have we already done that? I can't even remember now. No, we've not done that. So we are building that. We're researching the granary. There we go. Researching the granary. But we've got everything else. So we could do with... I don't know if we go iron first yet. I mean, what do we need to... On the research stuff. I know we've already got granary there. Town Hall 2. Woodhouse. So we could do some of the blacksmith. Okay. Blacksmith needs to make tools, weapons, other work things. Okay, that's fine. Scribe hut as well. Scholarly stuff there. There's ones we've got completed. War and defense. So tr um, trenches and stuff like that. So I mean, at the minute, I don't think we really need to trade for anything. I'm not totally sure though. Uh, and we could do with getting some of these. So these are obviously our king's like skills. I guess is the yeah king skills is going to be the right thing. Smoldering lurk, love that. <laughs> Calisthenetics. Okay, body body. Uh, bodybuilding stuff. Right, so switch off that one. Um, we could do with another emissary being sent out, I reckon, to, like, Hugh. Let's send him to Hugh. Why not? Um, so we'll send him to Hugh. Did I actually just send that, or...? Yeah? I think I did. Locked with a selection. Okay, cool. So that's all done. Right. Let's build this up a couple of times. Uh, we've got another turn on that. Four days on that. Oh, we're getting more people as well. At 1,200. Wow. Okay, so at least we've done that. Oh, gold minus four. Okay. Population plus one, though. So we are getting some gold, at least. Uh, well, we're losing some gold. That's probably because I'm building so much at the minute. So I want to try and keep above 100, uh, because I said so. That's the only reason. <laughs> uh, research seems to be, like, free, so we'll go with... Go with government to manage expanding the town hall. Allows the kingdom to continue to grow. Okay, blacksmith, scribe hut, wood house... Um, solid wooden walls. I actually think we want some defense or war carpenter. Critical building homes and weapons. Okay. Let's go for a trench or readout. Defensible uphill. Yeah, there we go. That's our first castle. We're going with that for sure. Right, so let's get that in there. That'll be our next thing. Yeah, so minus four again. That's fine. We've got quite a few days on some of these things. I think you've basically got to look on that, that bar. That bar is your your perfect thing. <laughs> as long as we're using as much manpower as we can. There we go, advise Aldo. Your Majesty, King Roll, your uncle, and one neighbour becomes uh, welcomes you with open arms and establishes trade routes immediately. Excellent. So he's my uncle then, that dude, whatever his name was. <laughs> that dude. Uh, we'll go with that dude, why not? So we're not building anything yet at the minute. Does that mean... Beginning turn report, okay. But we are going to research some stuff. Um, yeah, because I want to... Well, you might as well build stuff, really. Let's get the granary in. I know it's 75 gold. That is expensive. 25 wood. But it's got 50 extra food storage. I know we're not making food at the minute. But that seems sensible to me. Um, let's go on to emissary and... So how do we build, like... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. That's stuck now. Tough. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll see if that gets it up a heart. What I was wondering, anyway, was whether that actually goes up heart-wise the more we, like, send it to them. So Florencia will send a couple people there. This ladies thing, I'm guessing that's where we can, like, marry. Um, which sounds pretty cool, to be fair. That'd be good. Get married and... Hopefully get some better relations. Oh, look, that's the... Is that the granary or is that another farm or is that the wood place? I don't know. Minus 24 gold. Damn. It's 25. Oh, it's so expensive. That is really expensive. Minus 24. Minus 3 wood. But we've got more population, so we've got 61, which probably means we get more manpower, um, which is fine. So I'm going to save a bit of my money at the minute and train. Should we train in bartering or health? So going bartering, we haven't got anything on bartering at all, you know? That seems like a, a sensible thing to do. If we're going to be trading to try and get some money, we're going to need that. Um, there we go, that's better. So at least we're getting some gold now. So it's just that, you know, I'm spending all the money. I was saying 100 was my minimum. It ain't. Uh, let's go for 75 being the <laughs> minimum. So build that up again. All right. Read out. Uh, skills. Yep, bartering. Get onto that. Um, let's send an emissary to Cruel. Let's do that. Oh, we're getting food now as well. Cool. 
So food and wood. So stone. Stone, I guess, is going to be the next one after that. Have we got... Yeah, redoubt. It's got a castle. I mean, that's that's got to be our focus, isn't it? It's got to be castle-based. Um, one more turn. Right, okay. There we go. Good. Okay, so you haven't got that yet. Darn it. Right. One, one more turn after that. But we'll go for skills bartering again to use up some of our manpower. Bandits have found a settlement. I expect trouble ahead. I recommend upgrading your walls and building defences. Good. Right, so we're already on that, Aldo. We're already doing it, man. We're, like, gonna reduce raid loss by 10%. That does not seem like enough. And 100 gold, we have not got that kind of money. Oh, dear. Um, okay. So, defense-wise, we could build a trench. Uh, prevents raiding bandits from taking full advantage of vulnerable castle. Of a vulnerable castle. Okay. That seems pretty good. Uh, carpenter as well. Hmm. Oh, wow, look at all this. All the economic stuff that's just appeared. I did not see that. This has this has actually appeared, hasn't it? Two-handed saw. Okay, cool. Um, I think we go for the trench. Um, we go full full whack on that. Not enough manpower. Damn. Okay, if we turn off the skills of that one, then we can turn it on that one. Now we've got it. So that'll do. I know that obviously we could have been trading on that. Uh, we're sending it to cruel as well. Uh, we could do with more more gold, really. I wonder if we sell stuff. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Um, right, so Advisor Aldo. Your Majesty, King Dalcourt has united the swamp people in Crawl. They are eager uh, for legitimacy, are willing to open open to uh, ugh, willing to open trade immediately. There we go. Getting all tongue tied. Cool. Okay, that's cool. So that's good. I think let's try and send like spend some uh, not spend some stuff. So can we? If we're getting like five at the minute, uh, price is free. That seems. So the market is free anyway. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go minus two. Are we making five? Is there an easy way to see how much we're making? I guess the end of turn report. Yeah, so five and five. Right, so let's go for minus two on that. Minus two on that. On wood as well. So we'll start selling those. Um, import cost minus 20. Okay, no. Capacity two. Net profit. Oh, okay, so it's the other way around. I was thinking like minus meant... Sending it, if that makes sense. Florencia. Right, so they got four. Oh, wow. Okay, Hugh is really wanting... Cruel is wanting it massively. Right, let's go with Cruel. Dude, well, let's sell that to Cruel. Send the caravan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get it. Get it. We're going to get, like, 32 gold. We need this gold. Pretty badly. So let's send that over. There we go. Plus three, plus three. Okay, that's cool. So I definitely got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I'm going to end up, like, messing it up and, like, uh, I don't know, buying a load of stuff that I don't need. Uh, food, 5-5. Five, five. So that has already done that trade, or... No, because, of course, we've just sent... Oh, so you send what you've got stored. So actually, next time, in the caravan, we should send more, rather than it being per turn. I don't know why I thought it was per turn. That's a bit dumb. Um, it's not per turn. It's done the right way. <laughs> I just ignored. I just didn't think. Which is absolutely fine. Right, okay. So we've got that there. We have done the trade. Right, so the trade is done now. So we've now got 99 gold. Right. 100 gold. So that is going to take a little while to build it. So we'll do that. Um, can we trade as well? We can. Okay, so where's the best place? So 19. Hugh is definitely in the best place. So let's go for like, I don't know. Should we go for like 10? And we've got more wood than anything, so let's go for like 15, let's go for 25 wood. Let's just get rid of this. Let's make a ton of money, 355. Uh, that is going to do it. Uh, I hope we don't get attacked by bandits on the road. I've just got this horrible feeling that we're going to get like attacked by bandits or something. Um, that definitely did something with Florencia. Either the trade did or us sending another emissary to it did something. One of the two. Right, I also need to keep an eye on this trench and four days for that of gold, 80 gold left, which is good. So we've got just enough. This is going to floor us, though. Um, we're going to be poor. Um, cool, so something's completed, which was that research. So that's all good. Uh, let's go for health on our dude. Um, and trade-wise, 397 gold. Okay, so now, now I kind of get how the game works, which is good. I want to go crazy on something. Um, what can we go crazy on? 
Improve wood production by 15%. Yep, that is totally what we're going to do. Because the more money we get, the better. That's what we want. So let's go for that. Right, guys, anyway, just realized we're getting close or have just gone over the 20-minute mark. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to call it a day for that episode, at least. Um, that is Conqueror 940 AD. It's actually not too bad already. We're kind of building up a town, so I'm going to be playing this a good couple episodes at least so far. Again, a massive shout out to Combat Wombat Studios for giving me a Steam key. Uh, you guys are awesome for doing that. I really do appreciate it. And um, so far, it all seems pretty good. I'm just waiting until my, my village gets completely annihilated. Um, honestly, that is what I'm waiting for. Um, I press that and hide that, shouldn't we? Um, definitely waiting for that. But it's all looking pretty good so far. Oh, that's the tracks. Okay, cool. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.